we don't know whether or not this is going to go away as the weather gets warmer. The reason this has come up is because other viruses, including flu virus and even other coronaviruses like SARS, did tend to have this peak sort of in March and April and then start to diminish. So, you know, the question is, this is a coronavirus as well. Could the same thing happen here? And it might. But, you know, the reason we keep saying novel in front of coronavirus is because it is a new virus and we don't know exactly how it's going to behave. That map that you just showed, the world map, uh, if you notice, you know, most of the cases are still in the northern hemisphere where the weather is cooler. You, you are starting to see some now further down, but, but fewer numbers of cases in the southern hemisphere. Maybe that's an indication that the, it's more of a, a colder weather virus. We don't know yet. That would be the hope. It says, how long is someone sick with the virus? We hear reports with a number of cases and a number of deaths, but for those who don't die, how long are they sick? Important question, and it depends on, on the severity of the illness. But let me just say this quickly, that the, uh, you know, with people who've had more severe illnesses and recovered, that recovery can be up to six weeks. So we got to keep wow. that in mind, especially when it comes to hospitalizations and medical care. It's not, you know, it's not a quick sort of peak. Uh, the, 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 the amount of care patients might need could take a long time. All right. So are you contagious? Do you have to be quarantined that whole time? Uh, so you can be, you can be, as long as you're still having symptoms, you can still be contagious. You could still be shedding the virus. So people uh, oftentimes need to be isolated during that time as well. Okay. This one is from Facebook. It says, uh, why does it take 14, uh, a 14 day incubation period? And do we know at what point it becomes infectious during that time? Yeah. So uh, virus gets into your body, starts to replicate, um, but it may take some time in this case, uh, up to 14 days, the incubation period, before someone would start to develop symptoms. The virus is replicating, but you're not really feeling it, and it can replicate for, for that period of time before someone develops symptoms, 14 days. You can be uh, contagious right away, uh, even before you have symptoms. That's part of the concern. Uh, likely the virus probably was in your body for a bit and had to divide enough to actually start getting into your nasal cavity where you start shedding virus. But the, I think the, the most salient point is even without symptoms, you could be contagious. Not as likely to be contagious, according to Dr. Fauci, as someone who's visibly sick, coughing and sneezing, but it is possible to spread the uh, virus without you yourself knowing you have it. Okay, the, uh, the people most affected by the coronavirus are the elderly and people with underlying uh, conditions. So why are so many schools closing? Yeah, so, uh, so first of all, young people tend to be fairly protected from this virus. We're, we're not entirely sure why. They can become infected, they can carry the virus, but they're not really getting much uh, serious illness. Um, but the reason that they might close schools, and that's you know, one of those questions in the United States they you know, will have to deal with, is, is really because you could still have the virus in your system, you could go home, you could spread it to parents, grandparents, you could become sort of a vector for the virus. And schools, especially for little kids, tend to be these places where viruses spread easily. So lots of kids, even though they may not be sick, could go home and start spreading it to people who may, may be more vulnerable. There is a new list out of uh, officially approved 
things from the EPA that are disinfectants that may be strong enough to kill the coronavirus. And here's what okay, we are talking about. They, this list. There you go. They are mostly Clorox and mostly Lysol. So they're not stuff for your hands. Like you see toilet bowl cleaners here. But these are things they say that you can use. There are, I think this is not, less about what you can use as opposed to, hey, other companies, you don't get to pretend you can fight the coronavirus. It was absolutely a, a retirement trip that we had planned. Well, we left the day after Thanksgiving. We arrived in Japan on the 4th of March, and that's when the quarantine started. Four or five days into the quarantine, and I started to get sick. In the beginning, it was it was tough. It was it was a it was a bad fever and a bad headache. But after that first day, then the fever would come and go, come and go. It did that for four days. That when the nausea went away, and uh, I woke up in the morning, and I was fine. It was awful because after he left, I mean, we kissed goodbye and hugged, and you know, you don't know. And then I called the front desk and I said, "Hey, how do I find out where my husband's going?" And she said, "Well, we don't know." I just laid on a hospital bed there in the room. I put my head on the pillow, curled up in a little ball. It was it was a little bit scary for me, and now I'm by myself, and I knew it was going to be a long time. I lost 25 pounds. He lost 25 and pounds. I don't recommend the diet. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Today is the second day that I've been here, and I talked to John. And oh, it was awful for us. Yeah, because we were together 24/7 well, practically when we did. And, and when she left, I thought, you know. We were supposed to leave together. They tested me every other day for the for the virus, and then it always came back positive. Just one day, the doctor he came in and he takes his glove off, and he says, shakes my hand with his bare skin, and says, "You tested negative. You're going home." Well, babe, the happy day is here. I am uh, free to go, and can't wait to uh, to put my arms around you. <laughs> I'm coming home. It was the first time I'd hugged anybody in uh, a little over two weeks, and I got to hug my wife again. Yeah, elation, just <laughs> to see him and you know, he gives the best hugs anyway. So after this is done, we just kind of want to slip away out of, <laughs> you know. We just like to be an ordinary couple <laughs> that live an extraordinary life.